welcome, let's start by going to File, then Project Settings, and change the aspect ratio to 1 to 1 Instagram. Further go to Stock Media to drag down white color, then right click to crop to fit. Drag down default text title, then click to advance. Now type your text, change the color to green, then adjust on the screen as shown. Afterward, go to your right, then scroll to tick outline, choose color black, opacity 100, blur 10 and thickness 10. Also tick the shadow and adjust its opacity to 100, blur to 20, and leave distance at 4. Now add another text, then untick both the outline and shadow. Drag down, then paste your text and adjust the text, then change its color to black. Afterward, apply as shown. Now take a PNG snapshot. Delete all on the timeline, then go up to File, select Project Setting, and choose 16 to 9 aspect ratio. So because I'm using just four pictures, I was able to make another three snapshot above as shown. Now drag down a picture background. Right click to crop to fit and extend to 18 seconds. Drag down a picture and right-click to crop to fit. Click then scroll down to apply drop shadow, change distance to 17, blur to 100, and opacity to 100. Further apply keyframe animation to transform then scale down to 60, Type minus 1225 in position Y and minus 30 in rotate. Now move the playhead two frames forward or 10 seconds, then go up to apply keyframe to transform and only restore positions back to zero and type minus five in rotate. Again, move the playhead two frames forward or 20 seconds, then go up to only apply keyframe to transform. Move the playhead to one minute, 10 seconds, then go up to apply keyframe to transform, then scale up to 100 and only restore rotate to zero. Move the playhead again to three minute, 10 seconds, then go up to only apply keyframe to transform. Lastly, move the playhead again to 3 minute 20 seconds, then go up to apply keyframe to transform, scale down to 60 and rotate to minus five. Now click the keyframe panel icon, then scroll down to highlight all the keyframe points and right click to apply continuous curve. Again, highlight only the second and third keyframe point, then right click to apply linear curve. Afterward, click the keyframe panel icon to minimize back the graph as shown. Now click the third keyframe point, add a video track, and drag down the first snapshot. Now extend the picture to match the background. Now click the snapshot Go up to AI tool to apply chroma key to remove the green color. Further go up to apply keyframe to transform, then go to position X to type minus 1516. So using the keyframe below as a guide, go up again to apply keyframe to the snapshot, 
then type minus 464. Only apply keyframe to the third keyframe and type minus 1516 for the fourth keyframe, as shown. Now click the keyframe panel icon, scroll down to the graph, then highlight and apply continuous curve, afterward preview. Next, highlight both, copy, then move the playhead one frame forward from the last keyframe point or four seconds. Add a video track, then paste. Press and hold the Alt key on the keyboard as you drag down both another picture and snapshot to replace the ones on the timeline. Now click the first picture keyframe point, go up to only rotate to type 30, and for the second and third keyframe points, type 5 in rotate as shown. Afterward, go to the last keyframe point to also type 5 in Rotate as shown. Now go to the snapshot above, click each keyframe panel, then go up to position X to delete the minus from each keyframe point. Move the playhead to the end of the picture background, highlight all then split, and delete the extra clip. Now highlight the four pictures and copy. Move playhead one frame forward from the last keyframe point or eight seconds. Add a video track then paste. Press and hold the Alt key on the keyboard as you drag down another picture and snapshot to replace the pair above. Now go to the first keyframe point, then go up to delete minus from 1225. Afterward, click the second keyframe point and only go to rotate to change five to three so that it becomes minus three and do the same to only the third and last keyframe point as shown. Now scroll up to next picture and click the first keyframe point, then go up to delete minus from 112.25. Afterward, click the second keyframe point and only go to rotate to change five to seven and do the same to only the third and last keyframe point as shown. Further move the playhead to the end of the picture background below, then highlight all above, split and delete the rest, then preview. Lastly, add a video track above, then go to Effect to Search and drag down Appful Effect, Extend to Match, then click to reduce its opacity to 20 as shown. Also, the template link for this tutorial is in the description. Have a wonderful day.